Hi there, so I'm making this this morning. Um, you know, the inspiration for this was watching, you know, a video by a YouTube user called John LeBon. You know, I watched the first 10 minutes of it and there was some things in there that I'm going to play um, and highlight. Um, but before, before I go there, um, you know, there is so much uh, generalisation going on and logical fallacies being employed by so-called sceptics. Now, we'll go through what a sceptic actually is in a wee minute. Um, but, you know, that for me was the whole reason why I stepped up to get involved in this. Because I could see from the start, you know, and as I predicted, it's unfolded that way, that the real truth of the matter is, no, you know, nobody will come forward and refute what I'm saying because it's the absolute truth. Okay? And, that, you know, I wonder why so-called sceptics don't talk about, you know, the, the situation that I'm putting forward, which is the reality of the situation, is that um, the claim, the claim, the accepted model, where the burden of proof lies, the claim that I was born into was that I lived on a globe. Okay, now when I analysed that as a sceptic um, and employing logic and looking at the scientific method, I discovered that the globe is not reality. There is no measurable curvature. We have tangible facts of reality, like, you know, and I'll make it clear right, right now, when I say flat earth, you know, my version of flat earth is very simple. It must be able to hold and contain the water. The full dimensions of it are undiscovered, therefore we need full exploration. So, what you're going to get is people who work on models and maps, which is fine, but I would say to them people that in order to verify or falsify it, you need the full exploration. So it's fine if people work on maps and models um, and declare it so that it's a, you know, an endeavour that they're partaking in, but they should also be finishing it with, you know, um, we need the full exploration in order to verify or falsify the model. Okay, so the reality of the matter is the globe, no proof for it whatsoever. What proof do you actually have? You know, I searched and searched and the only proof that I can find, solid proof, is the natural physics of water that tells everybody beyond a shadow of a doubt that the earth must be a container of some kind, okay? No the exterior of a sphere, no the exterior of a square or a triangle or any of these, you know, idiotic, unprovable, you know, um, nonsense claims. So, it's very simple for me. So, it makes me wonder why certain sceptics focus on, you know, these personalities or these groups. You know, and as I said at the beginning, for me that was part of the plan. If you can make people adopt or think that they have to have a, a model to represent, then you can tear them apart and you can make a whole drama out of the, the, the whole thing, um, which is nonsense. And it's no science and it's not scepticism. Um, and a lot of these characters who are involved in it are nowhere near sceptics. If there were sceptics, they would have figured out what I'm saying and they would be promoting exactly what I'm saying. Right? But what I see from all walks, flat earthers, globe believers, is confirmation bias. You know, they, seem, they seem to have individual agendas or something to um, cling to. Now, it's not a scary thing. And, it, you know, that's the reality in the realistic situation is to say the claim we were born into is, is no right. There's, there's serious issues. Therefore, we need exploration to discover. Right. That for me is the end game. That's all I'm interested in. The facts. Separating subjective experiences from objective truth. The objective truth for me and the question is where do we live? What's the shape of the earth we are, we're living on? Okay, it's got nothing to do with who I am or John Le Bon or, or any of these other people who are highlighted. It's got nothing to do with it. It's about the facts. Okay, so, you know, I just want to clear that up again, you know, and I'm up for discussion with anybody, you know. I'm, I'm you know, not here to protect any beliefs. I don't have any beliefs. You know, I'll work through anything. You know, I will look at new information and any claims made, um, but all claims for me in regards to this subject should be backed by empirical proof, okay? So, 
Let's have a wee listen here. It's something that I just couldn't let slip. He said, you know, I'll try and paraphrase what he said, something to the effect of, you know, none of, none of this stuff works on, on, I can't do this, I can't do that accent. He's saying that, that none of the phenomenon that we see work on the heliocentric model, but that it works on the flat earth model, that it all makes perfect sense on the flat earth model, all of the phenomenon that we observe. And I thought to myself, which flat earth model is that? Don't tell me that the Morgyle is still pushing this nonsense. Well, that, this is where I agree. You know, and this is what I've always said to people when they say flat earth or flat earth model. Um, and then they try and label you based on their assumptions or preconceptions of a flat earth means, you know, that you're representing this model or that model. You know, again, for me, there is no existing model. No globe, no flat, no concave. Okay, it's unanswered. You know, and I'll reiterate it again. Whatever the full dimensions, fact of life, fact of reality, it must be able to contain and hold the water. Okay, now refute that. Any so-called scientist, any so-called skeptic, you know, I dare them to come on camera and try and deny observable physical reality. Right? This, all this stage show and stringing it out and making it a drama, you know, a lot of these people willingly or unwillingly are contributing to making it a harder um, puzzle to figure, you know. It's very simple. You need to make people aware of the claim that was made, which is a globe, and then make it very clear that there is no proof for it, there is no measurable curvature. You know, natural things like water and the physical properties and behaviours tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt it's not a globe, okay? that these flat earthers even have a model, let alone one which works, right? Is he still pushing that? So I thought, I'll just put that in the chat. I said, yeah, but like uh, Morgan, which, which model, which flat earth model explains southern flights or the star rotation? And, uh, and then someone re responded to me, you can't expect them to have worked it all out by now. I know being serious, I weren't being facetious. This, this was a genuine commentary. Well, that is a genuine comment as far as I'm concerned because you show me any any person living within the pen, the enclosed pen that we're in, who is going to figure out the full dimensions standing in the middle of the pen. It's fucking retarded and ridiculous. All right? How can you claim you're a sceptic when you haven't figured that out yet? We'll work all that out by now, shall we? And, uh, and, and we can talk more about that kind of comment again as well. And I responded, well, actually, they've been claiming now for more than a year that they would have all of this worked out soon, that they'll eventually come up with a working model for the flat earth. I mean, a lot of them claim they've already got one, but the others who aren't quite that silly, they're like, oh, no, we'll have one eventually. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. And of course, that's... I bet as a matter of time, once full exploration can be achieved. They can keep saying that for another year, another two years, another five years, however long they can milk this cow of flat earth for all it's worth, so long as they can keep the lemmings hanging on and shooting them live. And right, this, this, here we go, you know, milk this flat earth cow for all it's worth. You know, John Le Bon, I'm asking you, which flat earth? Who's milking it? I ain't milking anything. No. I'm a real man. Wanting to know where I am and why that I've been lied to, right? No milking anything. Here trying to cut through the shit. For me, you know, the whole thing is about discovering where we are, but also at the same time, you know, understanding the psychology and the mind and how we ended up in this situation in the first place. You know, for me, that's the meat and the bones. Watching the ads that they put through their videos and this kind of thing, the flat earth leaders can just keep saying this. Oh. Flat earth leaders can just keep saying this. Okay, John LeBron, what makes you say that these people are flat earth leaders? Who are they leading? No. I'm telling you that nobody's leading me anywhere. Okay, so again, you know, I'm gathering that you, 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 you feel as if you're a bit of a skeptic, but yet, you know, here you're generalizing and making bold statements. Flat Earth leaders. Who? Who's? Who's leader? 
think you're being very selective with the language you're using here. Oh, we'll, we'll get it all worked out soon. Don't you worry about that. We'll, 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 we'll get a working model just, just very quickly. You know, the, the heliocentrists have had hundreds of years and we're, we're only just starting now, but we'll get a working model. It's nonsense, right? So I responded saying, yeah, they've been saying they have one for over a year and still not even anything close to a working model. Nothing that can explain the southern flights. Which... What are we talking about working models here? Again, John, um, if that's your name. Working models. Where is the fucking model of the globe? Not a plastic toy. Right? Something that contains the actual elements of the reality that we live in. Rock, earth, air, water. Where is that model? Okay. Bits of fucking plastic don't count. So, if I pulled out a plastic unicorn, that's my model of a unicorn, therefore unicorns are real. Fuck off. You know, I'm not angry, John, at you. I'm willing to have a discussion with you if you're a real sceptic, okay? But I'm passionate, and when I see this tiresome, same old shit being regurgitated, it fucking pisses me off. Do exist. Or the rotation of the stars which is different in the different so-called hemispheres. Let's get one thing straight, okay? You know, and I'm going to reiterate it again and again and again. You will never, okay, and refute it if you like, you will never get measurable curvature or any measurement of the shape of Earth that you're standing upon by looking at the fucking sky. You don't live in the fucking sky. I don't care what if they're doing circles, squares, straight lines. It matters fucking not. What matters to me is the shape of the earth that we're fucking standing upon, you know? And if we want to discover maybe how the full workings are, we need to explore the full boundaries, if there is any, of the earth that we are standing upon. Until they can explain both of those things, let's not pretend they've got anything close to a working model. And John, the more... So now, you know, here we go, John's defining, you know, what's acceptable and what's not. Until we can explain what happens in the sky, nobody has a working model. I'm going to reiterate it again. Nobody, globe, concave, flat, has a working model. None. Why is it so hard for you to come to the realisation that, you know, you deal with a claim that was made, the claim that you were born in, included John LeBon, um, and focus on that. Focus on the fact that the claim doesn't add up, you know, and then logically where does that lead you to? Okay, um, we're on a bit of a pickle, uh, that's not right, so what should we do? Should we make stuff up? No, let's go and figure out. Let's go and explore. Okay? If you were sitting in the middle of a room your whole life and I removed the blindfold, you're not going to sit there, you know, imagining what the full dimensions of the house are. You would go and look. Oh, you seem like a nice guy, but what's, please, man, how, how long is this going to go on? You just talking complete nonsense. It's just, it's getting very silly. Well, anyway, I posted that comment, and next thing you know, a few of the moderators saying, bye, John, bye, JLB. That was it. That was all it took to get me banned, was uh, saying, hold on, which model explains the stars? That's all it took. No name calling, no ad hominem attacks, definitely no trolling, nothing negative or condescending, just hold on. Model. Which model? And I was banned. Now, why is that? Well, that's going to be the central theme of this episode. How come these people who are trying to tell hundreds of people around the world that they've found the truth, they've got the flat earth truth? And it's... I totally agree. If people are claiming that it's the truth, it's, it's wrong. I want to see empirical proof of that truth. Show me their exploration. There's none going to change the world. It's going to go from 5% to 95% overnight. They've got this umbrella truth that's going to bring down the establishment and bring down NASA and change the world and hope and love and peace. How come when someone says, yeah, but where's your model? I mean, if you want to criticize the heliocentric model for not working, fine. Uh, where's, and you want to say that your model explains all the phenomena? Fine. What's your model? Because well, here we go again, you know, but these models, I'm just going to leave it there. Now, I want to, exp you know, reiterate, John LeBon, if you, if you see this, you know, you might look, might look as if I'm angry, but I'm not, I'm just passionate about it, you know, and it's fucking annoying when you get people like yourself, you know, who continue to say these things, 
you know, and generalise and misrepresent. Because when you're talking about these people, they don't represent me. You know, they are who they are. Yeah, on their own journey, doing whatever it is they do for whatever reason, which is another story. You know, and as I said at the start, you know, this journey, look at people's content, look at claims, understand the logic. You know, if people make claims that are unproven, you know, you know that they're at it. You know, and the more that I see of this continuing without the message that I'm saying, which is the truth, that we are all, you know, in bewilderment about where we are, and we need the exploration to discover that, then, you know, my, my trust doesn't, doesn't, doesn't lie with anybody, you know, unless that's the message that they're, put, they're pushing. So, but there seems to be an avoidance of this message that I keep pushing. You know, well, let's focus on this person's behaviour or that person's behaviour or blah, blah, blah. And then we'll generalise and make claims that they represent the whole, you know, utter fucking nonsense. And again, it's so simple that anybody claiming they're a sceptic can get partake in these types of behaviour, you know, are total idiots. So, let's have a wee look here. I'm just going to read out Skeptics Society. The Skeptic Society is a non-profit member-supported organisation devoted to promoting scientific scepticism and resisting the spread of pseudoscience, superstition and irrational beliefs. The Skeptic Society was founded by Michael Shermer. Okay, so we've had a look at Michael Shermer, another illogical fucking moron who has absolutely no fucking measurable proof for his claims that he lives on a globe. But yet this guy founded the Skeptic Society. Tells you a fucking lot. So, pseudoscience is a term used to describe a claim, belief or practice presented as scientific, but which does not adhere to the scientific, scientific method. A field practice or body of knowledge can reasonably be called pseudoscientific when it, is, when it is presented as consistent with the norms of scientific research, but it demonstrably fails to meet these norms. Okay, so pseudoscience, let's give you a fucking perfect example of pseudoscience. Water conforming to the exterior of a sphere. Two opposing pressure systems existing side by side with no solid separation. Two massive pseudoscientific claims that put a huge hole in your model. And again, we'll talk about models. As soon as I find one fact that goes against or refutes your model and you cannot account for it, it's done. You start again. So, does the globe hold water? No. Is it true that you can have two opposing pressure systems side by side without solid separation? No. Okay, so they two claims are pseudoscience because we can't observe and test that. You can't recreate that. It's fucking nonsense. Right? End of story. So where are we? We need exploration to find out the full dimensions. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt, provable fact of reality, that the full dimensions must be able to hold and contain the water. Come forward and refute it. And again, right now I'm passionate on camera. If I'm speaking to you face to face, this isn't the demeanour you'll get. But when I'm presenting, you know, how I'm feeling and how, how things are affecting me, this is what you're going to get. Okay? Because it's tiresome watching this fucking idiotic uh, behaviour perpetuate over and over and over and over. So, any sceptic, any so-called scientist, you know, please come forward. You know, I've been asking for over a year, still no re refutation of it. Yeah? But I'm going to continue to highlight this illogical behaviour and the way that people like, you know, what I'm seeing here with John Le Bon. And again, I don't know anything about John Le Bon. I don't know his whole backlog. I'm just going with what he's saying here, you know. And I have an issue with these things that he's saying. Um, you know, I totally agree. People making claims to models um, and claiming that they have the whole truth, you know, that they better fucking prove it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, all this behaviour is damaging my chances of discovery. No. People need to try and, you know, separate... Uh, it's, it's so hard, you know, the last few weeks I've been trying to point out the difference between objective and subjective experience, right? There is an objective world there, right? That's the point, that's that's the thing that we're focusing on. That's what I'm focusing on. No personalities, you know? 
And again, you know, we can talk about culty behaviour. You know, I'm going to reiterate it again. People's behaviours and behavioural patterns, right, were formed from the, the, the fake psychological foundation that they lived on a globe, right? The globe cult. That's the cult, okay? That's the pseudoscience. That's the false claim. The globe, okay? So if people are fucked up, you know, and, and acting illogically, you know, I'll look at that and trace that back to, well, you know, they were robbed of their foundation. They don't even know who they are or where they are. They were told a lie about where they live. So, you know, these people who claim that the, these these are, this is how flat earthers behave. No, this is how people behave. Because the people who are involved in flat earth are still in confusion. The people who are involved in flat earth still don't know where they are. They're still clambering about, trying to make sense of it. The same as everybody was before. So, it doesn't matter that they say flat earth in a title. Again, when I put flat earth in my title, you ask me what I mean by flat earth. You don't get to label me with Globebusters or anybody else. That's nonsense. That's not a sceptic. That's illogical behaviour. So, you know, I'm interested in discussion. You know, I want to get to the bottom of this and, and get through the shit and understand what's really happening. So, if you, John LeBon, or anybody else is really serious about that, come and have discussions with me. I'm not going to make false claims. You know, people like me should be representing the truth. You should be talking about people like myself and other people who represent the real truth and who are interested in truth. Um, as I say, you know, at the start, this is what this is what I could see happening. You know, people, you know, in their emotional state, and they think they're saviour type minds, and that they're part of this awakening to save humanity, and you know, and we've got this model, and you know, it's just all fucking nonsense. But that's what happens to people in an emotional state. You know, um, and they get swept up by it. The truth is the truth. Okay. Can you say it clearly again? There's absolutely no proof for a globe. No. Tangible reality tells you beyond a shadow of a doubt it is not a ball. Okay? We don't know where we are. We know the possibilities, you know, of what it could be. But that's it. The rest is a waste of fucking time. You need the masses awakened to the lie. The lie should be put up there and highlighted for all to see. You know, and you know, like myself, when you're claiming flat earth, you know, you make your claims clear, you know, and any other claims that you're making, you better back it by, by, by empirical proof, you know, or it's just going to be ridiculed, same as anything else. I don't think I need to say any more on that, but you know, these things that are happening, you know, I could foresee it happening. And it's just getting wider, more widespread, you know, and it's the same regurgitation constantly. Right? 